A Nashville neighborhood says they're being neglected and tonight they're calling for action. This all has to do with the trash and debris that now sits along the creek in Whitsett Park. It came floating in with the floodwaters two weeks ago. News 4's Danielle Jackson has been talking to residents who say this is unacceptable. Carly and people say they are frustrated seeing all of the trash in their community. They say it's been weeks, a few cleanup efforts, but more needs to be done. It's a quite expansive park, and so just to see this uh, and how littered and trashed it is, it's heartbreaking. Plastic bags strung onto the tree limbs along this creek in Whitsett Park is a reminder of the flooding two weeks ago in Nashville. Plastic bags, debris, trash, it looks like a garbage dump. Youssef Ahmad lives nearby. His backyard doesn't look any different. I own a house down the street and all the way down the river through everyone's backyard, there are plastic bags everywhere. A green space and body of water littered in plastic cups and even plastic utensils in line of sight. Kirsten Deidelhuff and family spent the day removing the plastic bags from tree limbs. She strongly believes this park, home to so many, has been forgotten. I moved to Nashville about 10 years ago and I lived in Green Hills prior to this. It would have been all over the news and would have been cleaned up and someone would have been handling, but because of this area, I just think it gets neglected over here. They also say the neglect also lies on how this impacts the ecosystem. My roommate has a dog and uh, <laughs> He was eating something out of the river the other day and it turned out to be like some car filter or something like that. I was like, yeah, it's absolutely terrible. Either way, the folks in this park aren't thankful for the thank you plastic bags and wants whoever responsible to take action. Let's find out where it came from, who's responsible, get their insurance to pay for it, right? Like it needs to be cleaned up. Now, some people who live nearby told me they're grateful for organizations like Hands on Nashville for all of their cleanup efforts, but they say that it's going to take a professional company to help restore the park. Carly. And Danielle, we do know some out-of-state organizations are here in Nashville helping with those recovery efforts. Here you see volunteers from Hope Force helping with the aftermath. They've been here since the floods began. They also did work in Brentwood, Spring Hill and Thompson Station.